can do it! Right now, I wish I was sitting at the top of a tree.
Three, looking out over a meadow, cider in hand. <sighs> Wind go with you. Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruin guard? Paimon's freaking out right now. That thing is sure to attack us. Uh, <laughs> uh, what say you we postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being? Huh? Paimon has a favorite line? Uh, seriously? Oh, all right then. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? Children are more open-minded. Is that why they can think up all kinds of imaginary friends? Ah, fitting, isn't it? That the City of Freedom should be home to children with such boundless powers of imagination. What about adults' imaginations? Let's ask some adults at the tavern! That welcomes you. Dandelions? <laughs> of course oh, they're flowers. All I can think about is Dilu. The thing about wine is, you have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Just drink responsibly on my premises, okay? Oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Throw you out? You know, the same way you threw out Father's legacy. You sold off his mansion. Or maybe you've forgotten. I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Is that so? Then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase? Sorry. I have no recollection. And that's odd. Master Diluc, I'm sure I saw such a vase in your home. A beautiful one. Unmistakable, in fact. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon, for one, never wants to grow up. Hmm, this raises an interesting question. At what age, exactly, do people's imaginary friends disappear? Let's go and check. Hmm, how about Ellen? 
Someone of her age surely must have some imagination left, don't you think? Uh-oh. Somehow Paimon finds the idea of not being able to see Alan's imaginary friend kind of scary. Imaginary friend? Yeah, she's so conscientious, it's terrifying. Huh? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you always training here? You bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I... I mean, obviously I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. Oh, thanks! I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honorary knight. Would you join me for some sword training? Huh. How can I smash all these training dummies at once? Back off! Huh. So that's how to do it. I'm impressed. Oh, thank you. It's clear I still have a long way to go in my training. <laughs> so modest. I, for one, think you're quite the pro at this already. Oh, well, I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, Hilly Churl. Ugh, oh, thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Ugh. Oh, but I'm so sore from training, I can hardly move. Honorary Knight, could you deliver a message to Jack for me? He's a friend of mine, recently started as an adventurer. We were gonna meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> could you let him know it'll have to be another day? If I'm not mistaken, you should find him at the Temple of the Lion. He's adventuring with Stanley today. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. Great! Thank you so much.
present. Gonna be epic. The Temple of the Lion? We explored this place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. We didn't bag all the loot last time! Looks like we can't go any further. Not to worry, allow me. Those who wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky high. Swift and merciful! Submit for judgment! Fighting me faster. Hey, 
are those guys? Power that ended high, son! I was so sure I was about to die. To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume? Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you! Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me, and then had to rescue me. Huh? I don't see what all the fuss is about. It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. Whoa! You are Stanley? You are that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who once set foot in the Mare Javari? <laughs> the very same. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back, or head further inside? I think we should keep going. With Stanley by our side, we'll have no problem. Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. So... I'm guessing you mostly came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? No, we really were just looking for Jack. What? Do you know who I am? I am Stanley, renowned adventurer of Mondstadt. Yeah, I think we got that. Well, your attitude says maybe you don't got that. I am Stanley, the living legend. Stanley, who braved the Mad Javari. Enough already! Ugh. Stop name-dropping yourself every time you open your mouth! It's true, though. Stanley is the most amazing guy. <laughs> well, Jack will listen, won't you? No. Where was I? You and your partner reached the Mad Javari, a famously terrifying place with not a wisp of wind. Precisely! There was a deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us. As far as the eye could see, the Mare Javari. Suddenly, my partner was caught in a whirlpool whipped up by an evil beast. Luckily, I managed to grab hold of him just in time. Wow! So, did he make it? <sighs> Sadly. I alone was able to set that thing down once more. But with the gentle bees carried away the tears welling up in my eyes. <laughs> Poor guy. How could that happen? Jack, you can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. <laughs> I, I know. Because an adventurer's proudest achievement is to die in the course of their final adventure. But whatever happens, 
No adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. That's right. To die in a place where the wind blows, and to have your spirit carried back to Mondstadt on the wind? That's... That's the point. Yeah... Although, the most I can aspire to right now is beginner's commissions. Like clearing out the slimes clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Why do they keep going on about that? Hmm... Is that why Stanley thinks the marriage of Ari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there? Take off. <laughs> From whence you came? A touch of frost. Spirit blade. Attack. I've made a small discovery. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. You're saying his imaginary friend is an idealized version of his own self? Interesting idea, but is it true? Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Bye, Stanley. Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. 
The sword of brilliant valor, and the shield of magnificent honor! I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? You bet! This is Stanley we're talking about. If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited, and my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Aww, poor Jack. Let's help him out! Venti, you coming too? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Uh, uh, Dada Gorge, was it? <laughs> Let's hurry, there's no time to lose. Shipping them? Seems so. That must be the sword of brilliant valor, surely. Power that ended my son. Submit for judgment. One with my blade. Ha <laughs> 
lo and behold, the sword of brilliant valor. Are you sure? Looks kind of basic to Paimon, and a little worse for wear, too. Why would hilly trolls be bowing down before a piece of junk like this? Uh, seems somebody tossed an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. Hmm... Say, Jack, have you ever seen an Animo crystal fly? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Is Valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, Valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. You're right. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the Sword of Brilliant Valor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dadaupa Gorge, so... Huh? There's somebody there! Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves passed by is all. What? Where? I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember?